is my place right over there. You see the star in the window. Yeah, I always wanted to like indicate to the people on the street that, hey, this is like this crazy weirdo lives here. And, uh, and you see the date of the building. Yeah, that immediately gave me a centennial sense of self. You know, like right when I moved here, I said, wow, look at that. I have to do something with that nook. And so like I dug up what else but paving stones and I slayed them around in a circle. And this is a stone that I found uh, by Lake Champlain, right where was the earliest French settlement within the continent, with, within the realm of the United States. It was their southernmost outpost. So, and the other rock was from the northernmost outpost of the English New England settlements. So it was kind of like these two rocks that have like this special meaning to me, like everything has a special meaning to me. Welcome to Marcus's Museum, to the Marcus Cerilius Museum of Creative Chaos. Uh, is the courtyard. Anyone who's ever been to a party knows of the courtyard. It's that U-shaped building where 105 Gore Street is, where Marcus's parties happen at the Marcus Cerilius Museum of Creative Chaos. Often, uh, often on the doorbell, since like there's a mix-up with the number four and the number two. There he is. Two, four. See, it's a confusion. Instant confusion. Chaos. Creative Five, chaos. Two. Notice the door is gray, but the stairway is brown. It gives it a different character, a more earthy character. Wood. Wood color. Original 1887 Newell here that hands have grasped as they, as they walked up here. The hands of kind of the century folks who lived here. Screaming brats and families. And original doorknob uh, and keyhole. Ah, we're in the, uh, the, um, uh, alcove, the, uh, the little, uh, the foyer. Ah, the list of the different parties. Marcus for Trick or Treat, Twelfth Night in Here, Marcus Resurrection Party, Marcus, uh, 38th Annual Existence Party, Twelfth Night Feast, Happening, Toga Party! Marcus's 39th annual existence party. Marcus's karaoke party pad. Hello, ween karaoke. Come here at Courtside Cafe. Twelfth night, three kings party in Marcus's pad. Third annual uh, toga party. And here you are. You are here in the little foyer. Well, the foyer has its own little has its own ghost, because I am the geist, the geist of the zeit, the time ghost. Yes. So, uh, so to introduce the time ghost, there's, there's, there's a fellow being with me. There's, I had a great, great grandfather who, uh, I once toasted on Halloween, on Hallow's Eve, saying, uh, to my, to my ancestor Julian, may I encounter your shadow. So, as we, as we, uh, as we enter and as we, and as we turn the, uh, turn the corner here, we encounter uh, the shadow of Julian, who's been watching me this whole time. He speaks to me on various occasions, and, uh, but he speaks without speaking. He's a speechless, a speechless sort. So, as we enter, uh, as we enter the, the Marcusian realm, the Marcusian world, the Marcusian universe, Ah, my, my, my humble kitchen. Oh yeah, I, I had a sense from this kitchen that it would be um, uh, all these paintings of, of forest and wilderness that, that I've exhibited around town. And uh, there was a sense of the kitchen, of the reality of a hut. Now, I wanted the kitchen, I wanted, as I was in the kitchen, I wanted to feel as if I was in, I was in a hut, or, or better yet, a kind of frontier cabin, yes. I always had this this thing about a frontier. I'm actually building a wigwam out in the forest, the wilderness of New Hampshire, you understand? And so I, uh, I, uh, I wanted this kitchen to be about the size of the cabin that eventually it's gonna be. And so there's a, uh, I, uh, I always have this sense when I'm in this kitchen of like, it's being surrounded by forest and wilderness and uh, my place in it, my humble place, the humble craftsman inhabiting his, uh, his place in, uh, in the wilderness, but, he's, but except he's more of kind of like this Voltaire character, like Candide, who's 
like out there in his uh, in his in his place. And you see the wilderness around here, and especially over here, like right over. That's the uh, the wood. The uh, the uh, it's, it's 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 the Iroquois ghosts who appear from the trees. This is this is a poem like, come look at come look over yonder. Yes. Ah, uh, so we. We follow, we follow the guide into the corner here. This is his, uh, this is, uh, this is his corner, yes. See the, uh, Boston, yes. And the, uh, ah, my plate. You see, I'm gonna devour history. This is what I do. I take, I take an 18th century knife and an, an 18th century fork, yes. And on an, and on an 18th century do, do, Plate. I, I, I devour. I, 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 I devour history by traveling from nation to nation. It's kind of like uh, a foreign exchange, you know. Like, you, like when you go to another country, you exchange. You, the first thing you do is you exchange your money for their money. So here I have English, uh, uh, a, 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 a set of English or New English uh, uh, coins that that, 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 that that travel from from New England to Old England, and then over to Spain, and then over to France, and then. And then I get and I get some some some, uh, some 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 Roman money. So I mean, my money from Rome, the Pope's money. And then I travel over to Austria. I get some Austro-Hungarian money. Then I exchange that for Polish money. And then like I exchange that for the Russian money. Then I exchange that for Ottoman money, for the Turkish money. So all this is uh, it's 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 a uh, it's a plate set for uh, for consumption of thoughts and feelings and ah the medieval zeitgeist. Mmm, yes. I often like to have a, uh, a hearty brew here. Oh, well, you pour the drink in there. Have a hearty brew. And, uh, ah, especially if you'd... Mmm, this could be difficult. Wait. Wait. Enter, 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 enter and, 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 and look the harder. There's the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the old prince. And, uh, and below, below, b -b below, yet in the midst of the, the 18th century, there is something of the 17th. Ah uh, yes, so as the role of the pirate in the uh, in, his, in his lair, I sit in my captain's cabin with my uh, two of the tools of my trade, the, uh, uh, the keeping off all those from future time who would interfere with my capsule of time. To, uh, to encourage the capsule of time, a 17th century pipe. To enclose oneself in the smoke rings of, of the past, because ghosts appear. Yet, the food, the honey, is the same. Ah, thus we are in the kitchen. To encourage ourselves. And we pass, we pass from, we pass from the place of agriculture. Ah, the place of the wilderness. The place of the ghost ship, the age of sail. Ah, we pass out of the age of sail and we leave we leave our uh, we leave our fantasy behind to uh, seek a more uh, a more present reality something somewhere outside <laughs> the shelter of the wilderness and thus we enter uh, the 1929 room